Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a drop down list in Excel and use a VLOOKUP or index match function to automatically fill in the related information like uh, price, quantity, or IDs, or etc. So, here is our data which uh, we have already used in the previous videos of VLOOKUP as well as in the index match function. So I've taken the same data sets so as to give the clarity about how we use. So here I have the list of products and I have the price of the product and the quantity that is the stock available in each product. So here we have um, used the index match function to retrieve the uh, data for particular products for price as well as for the stock. So instead of uh, typing each and every time to get the uh, required information for, uh, for the particular product, we are now going to uh, create this uh, product uh, column into an, a drop down list. So from the drop down list, uh, we can select the product and based on the selection, uh, it is going to retrieve the information for whatever the variables we require. So in order to do that, so this is our product list and uh, we need to create this product list into a uh, drop down box, drop down menu. Okay, so to do that, uh, uh, you just select any particular cell which you require. So I'll just select uh, F1 as my cell and I'll uh, just go to data. In data, you can see data validation select it and here you can see uh, the validation criteria so here the validation criteria in which you should uh, you should need to select the list and now you need to give the source of your list so in my uh, scenario uh, this is my source the list of product is my source then click OK. So now you can see there is a drop down option available in the F1 cell. If you just open it, you can see the list of products available here. OK, so if you select it, it it, it up uh, it shows in the uh, particular cell. OK, so now what we need to do is that we already have the uh, data retrieved from this uh, original data based on the index and match function and the criteria which we have given is happen in this case so instead of this we need to select uh, the f1 cell as or uh, array value so i'll just delete this uh, functions so now we need to use index and uh, index we need to select the array that is nothing but the price which we need to retrieve and uh, next is we need to match we need to look up value is our F1. Okay, so look up value and our uh, array is the list of product followed by match, which should be an exact match. So now you can see the price is uh, 62 for elderberry. Okay, so if you want, you can cross verify the price here. So if you just uh, select any other uh, product, you can see the price. Uh, data has been fetched from the original data set so this is how we need to uh, use the uh, drop down menu for uh, in in case of we look up or uh, index match so similarly i also need to do for a stock so we can just uh, copy uh, so now um, i'll fix this so I need to select the array as my product. So now in case of papaya, we can see the uh, stock available is 314. So this is how we need, uh, we use the um, drop down uh, list for retrieving the information. Similarly, if you want to use the same drop down in, in case of VLOOKUP function, the same kind of things. So VLOOKUP and uh, our lookup value that is our f1 which is going to be our look, lookup value and we need to uh, select the table list of table so this is our table array 
so in this case uh, it it uh, in v look of function as we already discussed it takes the value from left to right it cannot uh, take from the entire uh, uh, data set like uh, which it does in the index match function so that is a drawback uh, in using the v look up function so now i need to get the data which is available in the first second and third column in third column okay so i'll just third and uh, it should be an exact match so now it retrieves the data so in this case so the price of canice is 98 and we got the value here so i hope this video had given you some insights on how to use the drop down uh, list for your uh, various uh, lookup functions uh, with this, I'd like to conclude my video. Let me know what function you want to see in the upcoming videos. Thank you.